Hey guys, so this is my first video coming from Hong Kong. So I've just sort of settled in. So I didn't include any footage of sort of arriving here. I just put it at the end of my Singapore vlogs because basically this first sort of week's been a bit crazy. So if you haven't checked out my Singapore travel vlogs, then I will link them up above and please go check them out. But uh, for today's video, I went on a bit of a shopping haul because I had to try all the shops here and they have all sort of the Korean beauty and everything that's so hard to get in the UK and they have whole shops of it here. So I went and did quite a bit of shopping and so today I'm going to be showing you guys all the Etude House stuff I got. And I got quite a lot of base and like lip makeup so I thought I would do a bit of a sort of full face first impressions try out for you guys as well. So here is all the stuff and I got a whole bunch of freebies as well because they always give you free stuff here in the shops if you buy things which is so good. I got a couple of sheet masks. I got a Damascus Rose here which is just quite nice. I've kind of been focusing on getting quite calming sheet masks at the minute because I don't know if you can see too well because I haven't got any foundation on for the tryouts. My skin is kind of flaring up a bit. It's getting quite irritated and quite red. And then the other one I have, again, tea tree, same sort of theme. So yeah, I've been using a lot of aloe vera and cucumber since I got here, which has really helped actually. So another skincare thing I got is this Berry AHA Bright Peel. So I hadn't really got a peeling mask that I particularly got on with very well. I was trying the Eliza Vecca one, the collagen mask, but I didn't really like how it sort of flaked off. It didn't sort of come off very easily, so it was a bit messy. So I'm gonna try this one out. So then I got some freebies as well. So I got this like whole box of skincare freebies here. So this is a True Relief Special Trial Kit. It looks pretty exciting. So you get three things in here. You get a True Relief Moist Cream. Uh, so this, let's give it a try out. And then, actually that's quite a, that's quite a nice light cream, that one. So that might be a sort of, when your skin's feeling particularly dry, perhaps a night sort of cream. I don't usually use creams too much. I normally use gels because I've got very oily skin. But sometimes my skin does get dried out, especially with using sort of chemical exfoliants. So this could be quite a good sort of little pick-me-up skin product. And next, there's a moist emulsion. So again, with emulsions, they're not something I would use particularly often. Like I find emulsions are fantastic if you have dry skin because they just add an extra layer of moisture. Again, with oily skin, it's something I would only add maybe more in the colder winter months. So probably not something I would use particularly here in Hong Kong, but I'll give it a try anyway. And this again has this very nice light formula and it does really just sink into the skin actually. That's quite nice. It might be quite nice to use for a sort of evening layer. You could even to use that as a night moisturizer. Because sometimes here with the aircon on all the time, the skin, your skin does get dried out even though it is so hot here. And then last is the one that I am actually really excited about, is this Moist Mist Toner. So this is like, well it is a mist toner, but I'm thinking I'm actually going to use this as a face mist. Because it's just such a small bottle. So I was going to do some of the free samples I got. These are in the makeup section now and then I'm going to be doing my tryouts. So I got a face blur here and this says smoothing pore hiding tone up with SPF 33 PA double plus. So I'm not quite sure actually if this is a tinted moisturizer I think. Um, but I will give this a try out, see if it's any good. Uh, so like useful having like quite a big uh, Etude House shop. Um, so like Causeway Bay has become one of my absolute favourite places now. So they've got like a big Etude House. They've got loads of like Sasa. They've got a huge Sasa there as well. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, Sasa is is sort of like the equivalent of Boots really. Um, so it's like a big sort of drugstore uh, where you can get lots of different brands. But also like. If you go outside of the big named ones, you can get a lot of like skincare, makeup products, actually kind of for discounted prices in like genuine shops. 
but you'd have to sort of go and find them. And actually I found a shop as well that sells Claire's, which I'm super excited about because I know that Claire's can be so hard to find sometimes, so that's really exciting. And then next I have a mint tone up, a fix and fix primer. So I'm actually got another primer product I'm going to try out today, but this looks pretty nice. It's in mint, so I wonder if this is at all a colour correcting one because they've got a lot of colour correcting products at the minute and the primer I picked up is a colour correcting one as well and I've got a Zero Sebum Fresh Gel Cream which I definitely think I'll be trying because I'm always on the lookout for a good gel cream because a lot of the gels I find kind of are too creamy like does that makes sense they go they're like a cream that's got a slight gel like consistency so I found a few that are genuine gels. I mean, the Pixie one, um, like the skin drink, is still one of my absolute favorites. Uh, but to be honest, also just if you've got really oily skin, just using aloe vera gel as a moisturizer like works really well. Okay, so now I'm gonna start on the makeup and I'm gonna start with doing some first impressions. So like I said, I've got no base makeup on. I've just done my eyes and my eyebrows. Uh, this is actually the new um, Innisfree eyebrow pencil. I've got it in urban brown. I'm not quite sure if it's slightly too dark. Um, I didn't really like it when I first tried it on, but then when I tried it this morning, I think it looks a little bit better. Like you have to be really like, light struck with it. So I might try getting this in a slightly lighter colour. This one was like maybe this is slightly too warm, I'm thinking. Actually there's one last little sample here. I forgot about this one. This is the lavender any cushion. So I'm actually gonna be trying this out as well. Uh, on my face so I believe that the lavender color is supposed to brighten up dull areas so I think it's yellow for under the eyes um, green to cover up the red and then purple I think is for brightening so I'm going to go in with this one first try a little bit of brightening in dull areas that I'm not going to be putting uh, the other primer color corrector on and see how this goes Okay, so the hair is out the way. Let's give this a try. I feel like I should start with a disclaimer saying that I've never used any sort of cushion products before because they're not really that available in the UK outside of high-end products. Like Yves Saint Laurent, I know, has just released a new cushion foundation. But like generally, they like you get here, say L'Oreal, but like the products they sell here are completely different to the products they sell in the UK. Like I mean, there is some overlap, but like they have like cushion foundations here that they just don't sell in the UK because people would prefer I guess to use the liquid ones um, or like even the powder foundations really. So we have a very mini little puff. It doesn't come with a little strap or anything which is a bit of a shame but I suppose this is only like a sample. And then we literally on this side have the cushion so let's give this a quick try. Okay, that's gone on to the pad quite nicely. So I'm just gonna try, I've got my other one I'm gonna be trying is a green one for the redness. I'm just gonna put this sort of on the T-zone almost like where I would a highlighting area. Let's give this a try. So not having a handle does make this slightly tricky, but actually, I think I've got a bit too much of this on now. You can see like a little bit of this goes a long way. Yeah, I definitely think that this is quite heavy. Like, because I put too much on here, it's not particularly blending up very well. But I will, <laughs> that looks so strange. I will do my best just to blend this out. I think it might be easier with this, even though it's a sample one, to take a full sized like spare cushion and do it like that. First thoughts on that so far, it mostly just makes me look very pale around there. But uh, I'm going to be going in with my foundation in a minute, I've got a new cushion foundation. So this should all blend in, so even if it looks a bit weird now, when the foundation's on it should all sort of equal out. And now for my exciting big colour correcting primer. I've got this Any Cushion Color Corrector in Mint Green. So I'm going to be using this because I've got a lot of redness under my skin. I've got like a very strong pink undertone. 
Uh, so this is just hopefully going to take out some of that pink and like this is lovely. I love the design of their cushions. So you can see there we've got a nice mirror. It's actually a good size mirror. We've got the puff with a little strap on the back that definitely is helpful. I feel like the little one, even though it is so small, could really do with that. And then there is the cushion in there. So it is literally mint green. So I'm just going to be quite tentative with putting this on for the minute. Um, because I don't know how this is going to be as strong as the purple one. Start on the cheeks because that's probably the most red area. So also, as you can kind of see, my skin is having quite a few breakouts at the minute. So I'm going to be testing these products to see how, like, if they feel like they're clogging up the pores at all. But I feel like that definitely worked. Definitely took out some of the redness. I'm just going to put a tiny bit more on my chin. Okay, so now for the foundation. So hopefully this should be the right shade. So I was trying out different shades. Um, and like a lot of the tester ones in the shop, the cushions don't have particularly much left in them. So it can sometimes be quite hard to try and match. So I did originally pick up a lighter shade, uh, but I ended up picking this one, which is vanilla. So I will, hopefully this will fit. It's like got a pink undertone to it from the look of it. So this should match because they do have quite a lot of ones with the more like beigey undertones to them as well. Which don't particularly go with how sort of flushed my skin is. So there is the little compact there. And again, like I love the packaging. I think that's really cute. So this isn't any cushion. So it's called the All Day Perfect and it's SPF 50 plus with PA triple plus. You can't use these in the place of a sun cream or you really shouldn't, but it's always good to have a little bit of sun protection in your skin makeup anyway. So there is a little cushion, again with a little strap on. Okay, there is the colour, so and again it's got a good size mirror. I'm not sure, just looking at the colour is going to be a little bit too sandy but I'll give this a go. Let's start with that. Mm, actually the colour's not too bad. So this is blended in fairly well. I'm not crazy about the blending but I think it's gone quite nicely. So I haven't put on any concealer underneath and I'm going to see how much coverage it would give. Right. Okay, so there is the base done. I'm actually quite happy with that. So it just says on the packet that this is a perfect cover, smooth touch, absolutely long lasting, all day cushion. Uh, it doesn't say as far as I can tell, although obviously I can't read the Korean on the back what sort of finish this is supposed to be. I'd say this is a fairly dewy finish actually, which I rather like. Like I like a dewy finish more than a matte one really. I know with oily skin it can be a bit tricky. So this does say it's all day. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to do a test this and I will check in with you guys uh, a bit later on just to add on a little sort of check in and an update. Cause I'm gonna be going out today in the full heat of the Hong Kong sun, which it's very hot, it's like over 30 at least. Um, and we've got another storm coming tomorrow. So um, that'll be interesting. We had a few days ago a uh, level 10, which was the first one in five years and was interesting. We had to stay inside, um, but it gets really, really hot before a storm. So it'll be the perfect test to see how long lasting this actually is. But I think I am probably going to set this slightly with powder but we'll just see how that goes. So to finish off, I also got a lip tint. So this is a Dear Darling tint in a light red. It doesn't actually say the shade on the packet, which is a bit of a shame really. 
Um, so I'll look that up online and see if I can add in a little note here. Also, I know the background right now is a bit boring, but I'm gonna get some posters and stuff, but I've been busy running around doing visa documents and things, so I haven't quite had the time for that yet. So this should hopefully come out a light red color. So it's got a sort of doe foot applicator there. So I'm just gonna put this on. And this is meant to be a watery tint as well. So I'm gonna be trying this out as well when I do my check-in later on to see how long lasting this is uh, and see if it's also drying because a lot of tints are very drying. Well, it's definitely a watery tint. You can really, it feels really nice and light on the lips like you've basically got nothing on the lips. Um, I quite like the colour. It's actually a bit stronger than I was expecting. So because the foundation has really kind of made me look very pale i think it looks a little bit too strong but uh, i'll see how it goes throughout the day hey guys so it's been a few hours just so i have to check in about the foundation and the lip thing as you can see the lip really hasn't stayed so i went and had dim sum we were eating drinking tea so it didn't really stay very well it didn't feel very drying at all but it didn't really stay so like i'd say you need to reapply this every couple of hours really um, but I'm really impressed with the foundation actually, like I really like it. At first I thought it was a bit too pale, um, but actually it's kind of really grown on me. Like I put a little bit of powder to set it on, uh, and a little bit of blush, and I feel that once I put the powders and things on, it kind of warmed it up a little bit. Um, so actually I think that's quite a nice colour, it's quite a nice match. And like it gave quite a good bit of coverage, and like you know I've been out in the full heat, it's been very like hot and sweaty and everything. And like it's really I think stayed quite well like my t-zone it's sort of it's faded a little bit but I'd say like the rest of the face it's really stayed so I'm actually really impressed with that so I'll do one last check in this evening with you guys and uh, so far I'm liking this foundation hey guys so it's been another few hours we thought I would just do my final check in now before it gets too dark so I mean, I think this foundation's held up pretty well. I reapplied the lip tint after the last video, and it stayed a lot better. Like, I haven't, I mean, I'm drinking water, but I haven't really been eating much. So, like, if you're just kind of wandering around and you're not actually eating or drinking anything, then actually, like, it stays on fairly well. Like, I like it a lot better now it's faded a bit as well. But, like, I'm pretty happy with it. And I wasn't sure about the colour at first, I thought it might be a little bit too pale. But actually, once I put the powders on and blended it in, actually, it kind of went fine. So, so, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please do hit the like and subscribe buttons below.